All right, all right, all right. The Bears won 27-17, but this is not the most exciting part. The most exciting part is that Eddie Pinero scored two field goals. Now, interesting part, I'm going to look here in the stats. I wasn't able to watch the game because I don't live in Chicago and I don't have an NFL pass for preseason. But uh, let's see, the Bears defense were great. Special teams was great. Quarterback was okay. The receivers were decent. So let's see here with the kicking. Eddie Pinero was two for two for perfect. His long field goal was a 50-yarder that had more of a punch that he could have kicked it for 65 yards. That was a beauty. If you haven't seen the highlights, I will post the video officially with the Chicago Bears or NFL link so you can watch the whole highlight. It was a pretty good game so far, what I saw with the highlights uh, of the game earlier. So here are the most interesting part, and it's not even with the Chicago Bears. In fact, that's what they did in the Indianapolis Colts. Unfortunately, Andrew Luck retired tonight due to his calf strain muscle that he has. He was a great quarterback. He went to force Pro Bowls, went to the AFC Championship, losing to the Broncos. When the Broncos went to the Super Bowl that one year, when uh, I believe that's when the Broncos got their heads kicked in um, by... Let's see, who did they lose to? I'm trying to remember the top of my head. Oh, the Seahawks beat the crap out of them. That's right. And then the following year was the crazy interception and the Patriots won. So, okay, so here we go. Here's the stats. Bray threw for 11 for 16 for 136 yards for one touchdown, one interception. Daniel threw for nine to only 21 yards. Nall had two carries for 73 yards, averaging 35 yards per carry. Cadwell, 11 carries for 17 yards. White Jr., four carries for eight yards. Daniel had one yard, one uh, carry for six yards. Bray, two carries for minus three. He's not a running back. Receivers, the most was... Horstead had three catches for 39 yards for a touchdown. Uh, Wims one for three. Let's see here. No, one for 11. That's pretty good for a running back. Although it is preseason. Defensive, we have several studs here. We have Woods for one sack, five tackles. He's as well. Thurman, are, they're tied for first place having five tackles each. Kukowski had one sack for four tackles and as well as a defensive um, pass block as well. And in she's uh, J.I., I will call him Indujuri, who is number 45, the, the linebacker of the Bears draft a couple years ago. He had three and a half tackles and one sack. He did pretty good. Also, Vintners did pretty good. Two solo tackles, one assistant tackle. Bush, my goodness, he came up. He had an interception for over 90 yards. It's a pretty good play. If you haven't seen it, it was pretty great, actually. Kukowski hit the tight end. Ball was fumbling around, and Bush had the umph to, to strip it away and run it all the way back. It was considered an interception for a touchdown. As well as, there's another interception by Ed Jolery that he almost ran it all the way back. That's pretty good. Kick returns. Average white was 25 yards. That's pretty good. Uh, Hall did 15 yards for a kick return. That's pretty good. And the kicking again and again, Eddie Pinero two made field goals. He was two for two. His long was 58. I've not seen a Bears kicker have kicked a 50-yard field goal since Robbie Gold. That's amazing. Pat O'Donnell had a pretty good punting 
gain five punts, net yards for 231 yards, average 46.2 yards per punt. That's pretty good. Now, who do I give the game ball to? It's a it's going to be tied. It's going to be between Eddie Pinero and Deion Bush. Both players made key game uh, plays that had the Bears win for victory. Bears leading in the game as well, and they won 27-17. So this is pretty exciting. Now the next game, the Bears play at home against the Titans. Interesting enough, my brother-in-law is going to the game. So he'll probably videotape it for me, certain plays, certain highlights, and I will be able to put it and show it to you guys. So what do you guys think about Eddie Pinero? You think the Bears are going to keep him or put him in the practice squad? At least rumor has it. Maybe trade for a kicker. Or could he be the kicker for the future in the long term or the short term? By the way, not about Chicago Bears football or Chicago sports generally. The college football season has kicked off today. It's been the 150th season, which is amazing, starting in the 1860s. And um, they had some pretty good games. I saw the Colgate game. They got wiped out by Villanova. Youngstown lost as well. And they how about the Gators game? The Gators barely won against the Miami Hurricanes in Orlando. All those stinking uh, penalties. And the Gators were just constantly shooting themselves in the foot, not poor tackling, etc. Now, granted, it's the first game of the season, but they're ranked eighth, and they're playing against an opponent that they're very used to. It's a rival. It's Miami. So it's it's all about the U, right? Or is it about the Gators? So, granted, we have some ex better players that played for the U. That includes Are You Ridiculous, Devin Hester, as well as other players, we have the Gator fans and Gator X Bears players. We have Alex Brown, Rex Grossman, and several of the defensive tackles that played for me. And Scott is one. I think the other defense tackle they drafted when Ian Scott was drafted I think it was Left Favor. He was a sixth round pick, as well as um, Payne. No, it wasn't Payne. Major Wright was a, was a safety for the Gators. Several Gators were drafted by the Bears, interesting enough. Um, so it was an exciting game living here in South Florida. It was a big game for us Floridians. I said it, yes, us Floridians. I lived here since 1993, but I'm still a Bears fan. So interesting enough, I picked up this jersey, this shirt, not a jersey, this shirt, at my local Goodwill. Can you believe it? Pretty cool, right? The flag. Bears representing, and you have this from California Grassroots. I believe it's, no, it's Grassroots California. Excuse me, Grassroots California. This is sold out. I got this for Christmas last year. It's pretty cool. As you can tell, it has the bear up there. I'm going to take off my hat because my hat's all, hair is all crazy. But yeah, the Bears won. We won our first preseason game. Pretty excited. Can't wait for the Packers. I predict the Bears will win. So I'll give you my official score on that one. Will the Bears beat the Titans? We'll see. It's just a preseason game. And as long as no one gets hurt. Other breaking news, like I said, we had, uh, unfortunately, Andrew Luck retired. Um, Miller, I forgot his first name, the running back for the Titans. Looks like he's out for the year. He tore his... Uh, his leg, I believe it's his ankle was pretty bad. Or his ACL, something terrible. It was pretty game, pretty bad game. I believe they got killed by the Cowboys. Um, it was like 27 to nothing. I kept them flipping that between the Gators and uh, Hurricanes game versus uh, the Texas uh, Bowl, I guess, if you want to call it. Cowboys versus the Texans. So, um, yeah, I didn't have... I have DirecTV and it said alternate game, which would be the Bears and Colts. When I click it, it wasn't there. So I'll be able to watch the whole game Sunday because NFL 
uh, network is going to repeat it or replay it, I guess, uh, 7 morning Sunday, which I'm not going to be up at 7 in the morning. I'm going to be sleeping. In fact, I think I might have family come over. So, but yeah, I tend to watch the game. So let me know what you guys, your thoughts about Eddie Pinero, Devon, De Deion Bush, excuse me, who's going to be the quarterback, or at least the backup quarterback. Uh, you know, the interesting part, Bray is going to be put in the, probably in the uh, practice squad, or we're going to keep Pinero. Um, what do you think about the Bears defense? Bears defense was pretty good, the second and third team, although they're playing against a shaky Colts team. And I like I wouldn't want to be the Colts right now. Unfortunately, they just lost their Pro Bowl quarterback. He retired. Uh, I would presume their backup quarterback or back to Tom Brady uh, will probably be the starting quarterback. So uh, sorry, Colt fans, but uh, it is what it is. By the way, you owe us. You know, you did beat us in, in the Super Bowl. Let's see, 13 years ago. Unfortunately, Urlacher could have won. A Super Bowl with with uh, Tillman and everyone else. Here's the interesting thing. I hate to say Jay Cutler, but if you put Cutler on that Bears Super Bowl team, would we've won the Super Bowl? If the Bears did not have Cutler hurt that one year, and the Bears beat the Packers at home in the NFC Championship, would have they beaten the Steelers? I think so. So I mean, I know. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Of course, Erlocker and Tillman and Lovey Smith do deserve a Super Bowl ring. I believe Lovey Smith does have a Super Bowl ring with the Bucks, but Erlocker deserves it, deserves it as well as Tillman and Briggs and all of those players. But um, it is what it is. So hopefully, we can win one for Trubisky and Mack and Hicks and the other Bears players and fans and Nagy as well and I surely hope and pray that we win at least one I've been satisfied with so far the Bulls winning six it'd be nice to see them win one more uh, White Sox won as well as the Cubbies won in 2015 that was probably the most amazing run I've ever seen a sports team do except probably Chicago, besides when the Bulls went 72 and 10 and 1 that one year, I think it was uh, 96, 96, yeah, 96, when they won 96, 97. And also when, um, obviously, when the Bears went 15 and 1. So I, I put the Cubs winning the World Series up to that. So, like I said, please like, subscribe. Um, it helps me grow my channel sorry my voice is a little bit bad I haven't been a little bit under the weather hopefully you can hear me fully loud and clear and I have a, another channel a main channel which is uh, Brandon the archivist I'm about to hit 3,000 hopefully I can be monetized uh, with my main channel my goal is to hit 1,000 subs with this channel 4,000 watch time hours as well as be monetizing this channel too. So I can go to the games, you guys. I'll be able to go to Cubs games and Bulls games and Bears and Blackhawks games and White Sox games. So help me get monetized so I can have some money and fly to Chicago and maybe do a vlog walking around in the history, the sports of the town. And I don't know, maybe go to a local uh, sports store and buy some gear or, or some cool vintage clothes or whatever else it might be so hopefully you guys like this subscribe and like to the channel thanks catch you guys later and bear down